All right, guys, I was not intending um, on vlogging today at all, but I kind of went down a path that led me to the messy room. And so I know I haven't given you guys much update on the messy room because if I'm being 100% transparent, it bothers me. Like it gives me, I don't even, like I don't, I don't want to say it gives me anxiety. I don't even, I just want to ignore it. <laughs> like, um, but what, I just kind of want to document this though in the process. Good Lord, if we were ever to move again. Um, it's not the plan. Uh, but, or for others who are moving or something, um, I don't know. I, I just, there, there wasn't an option for us to do this in an organized way. But if there is at all an option for you to move in a more organized fashion, I would highly suggest it because the problem is now we're missing things. We have no idea where they're at. So one of my friends donated a box of board games and I wanted to put them out in the waiting room and can't find them anywhere. I've looked, we have main level storage, we have second level storage, and then we have this ridiculousness. And I'm going to walk you around so you can really understand how ridiculous it is and like how much there is left to do. It is November 7th, something like that. Yeah, it is Tuesday, November 7th. And there is still so much to do. So here we go. Now I'm finding books. I have this whole box of books that were from our student lounge. We're going to put them in the waiting room. Um, so I'm just putting them on this cart so that I can easily wheel them down there. I mean, we have fridges. We have carpet. We have that fun thing that needs to get out there. We have some whiteboards. We have all of my like professional books over there. This whole area here, like starting with that painting all the way like right here is decor, pictures, lamps, statues, <laughs> new artwork, um, old artwork, all the things. Random, random, random. Old costumes that people didn't ever finish paying for and get. Um... This is mostly empty boxes, which is good on this little section. Old sound systems. <sighs> and you guys, this room has been cleaned out twice. This is the third time that this room is full um, from the old studio. Yeah. I know a lot of people see this and they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think this much stuff was in the studio. And I'm like, yeah, and this is the third room full um, of stuff. It's absolutely crazy. More mirrors that need to go up. There's more mirrors in there that need to go up. Artwork, random backdrops. <clears throat> That's actually garbage. It's broken. This is mostly garbage pile, stuff that's broke. The old sign. I don't even know. I don't know what's in like these random boxes. <sighs> yeah. It's embarrassing. It's stressful. It's not at all how I wanted it to go. But like I said, this is the back backside of all of those, all the artwork and stuff. There's bars that need to go up yet. There's portable bars that need to go upstairs. We just can't get them out of here. Like... These are really dumb problems to have, but I, like I said, I want to be honest and transparent and like these are the, these are the things that we're having trouble with. This is our new mailbox. It's upside down, but um, there's a, you know, like a leg thing that goes there into the ground and then imagine it not upside down um, so that tenants, we have a parcel box and a mailbox and tenant two, which will probably be whoever takes over this space. It's the next biggest space. Um, we'll have a parcel package thing and a mailbox. And then we have more for other tenants. We have all of our old folding chairs that are really not needed anymore. So here it is, guys. I 
<laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this. Um, yeah. So the problem right now is we've got to focus on, you know, we have Christmas performances and we have camps, winter camps coming up and things. And there's always some new event or something that is coming up that quite frankly is important to us. It's either revenue generating or it's like a community involvement thing. Um, so they are important to us, but we need to find time to get this all figured out as well. And like I said, it's already been cleaned out twice. So that gets a little overwhelming too. You're like, gosh, I've already done this and I've already done it twice. I don't want to have to do it a third time, but it is what it is. I know we'll get it done. It's not a question of if we'll get it done. It's just when finding some good time to do it. But, um, but yeah, so it'll be a really, really happy day for multiple reasons when this space gets cleaned out. One, we need to rent this space, you know, for, for financial purposes. We need to rent this. This needs to be bringing us an income. Um, <clears throat> and for peace of mind and for, like, smoothness of the business, all this stuff needs to find its home, and it needs to be in a place where we can find it and use it, right? This isn't helpful for anybody. So, anyway, I'm going to have to put that on my calendar to really make, um, you know, find time to actually, like, plan. When are we doing this? Um, find staff, get staff here, that kind of thing. So anyway, just wanted to update you on the mailbox because I don't think you've seen that at all yet. And then also this crazy messy room that is absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's, these are like rack things for the boutique and there's more of them somewhere that are brand new. I don't even know what these are. That's puck board for um, the photography company that's in here, just random, random stuff. Um, little peg, like, or for the, not pegboard, but this, whatever you call this, grid, I don't know what they call that, but these little things go into those grids to hang tights on and necklaces and things like that. Yeah, TVs <laughs> that need to go up and be being used. Um, so anyway, I get frustrated because I like things the way I like them. Um, so be patient when you're moving 8,500 square feet and 15 years worth of stuff um, for a business <laughs> across town. Be patient. It's going to take longer than you think. Um, the other thing, in hindsight, I don't know that it would have made a difference. But in hindsight, now knowing what I know now, I definitely would have pushed more with the construction stuff. Um, I would have taken more of a driver's seat role in that um, as far as like every single day calling people and being like, when are you coming? You know, this isn't acceptable. We need you here. Again, I don't know that it would have really made a difference because when you're dealing with different contractors and stuff, it things happen and their schedules back up and then it backs everybody up and it's a whole thing. But that is one thing that I, I regret a little bit. I mean, I could have done more in, un, under that front and it may have made some some sort of a difference. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if we would have had those five weeks back, obviously we would have just been off to a much better start. Um, is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, so we are making up for lost time here little by little while also running our main season. So um, anyway... And getting tenants and all that good stuff, too. So, all right. So, I'm going to take these books down to the waiting room. Add them to the shelves there. Can't find the board games anywhere. We'll come across them at some point, I'm sure. But I thought maybe they'd be in here. And then I went down a rabbit hole of, like, looking at all the things we need to do in here. So, all right, guys. Well, I um, am looking forward to getting out of this room. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to get my books and I'm going to go. Uh, and then I am going to put on my calendar, though. I need to spend time actually planning, getting some staff here, and just devoting some time to this space. So, all right. I think that's it for the vlog. Like I said, I wasn't even intending on vlogging. I just wanted to update you on this messy, messy room. So, all right. Bye, guys.